आई नहीं मार्कर नहीं है इसको एंटर करो Okay, so the IETA is a consensus statement on terms, definitions, and measurements that can be used to describe the ultrasound features of endometrium and uterine cavity in pre and postmenopausal women, those presenting with AUB, that is abnormal uterine bleeding, on grayscale ultrasound, color flow imaging, and sonohistography. So I'll uh, cover grayscale sonography and color flow imaging. and dr dipali kadam madam will uh, discuss about sono histography so what we know is the thin endometrium is a uh, uh, indicator of low with low risk of malignancy and thicker endometrium increases the risk of malignancy irrespective of the age the thick endometrium is associated with cancer or benign pathology like polyps hyperplasia atypia etc so what this group says the scanning period in a early proliferative phase is uh scanning should be done in early proliferative phase in a reproductive age group that is the 4th uh, to 6th day of cycle and in postmenopausal women who are receiving the hormone replacement therapy it should be done 5 to 10 days after the last progestin tablet the gray scale imaging there are uh, certain criteria is given and accordingly they are measured as 0 1 2 3 and then uh, at the end we uh, add the score uh, so that uh we can get whether indication of a benign uh, nature or malignant lesion uh, nature of the lesion so the et measurements we we have seen uh, in earlier presentations also so the thickest part of the endometrium is measured and if there is fluid you measure the two sides of the endometrium the those are separated by the fluid and add those two the endometrial echo texture can be homogeneously hyperechoic like this so oh, it can be isoechoic with the muscle uh, or isoechoic with the muscle or the hypoechoic with the muscle so the endometrial echogenicity should be uh, mentioned third criteria is the abnormal endometrial echogenicity that means the homogeneous uh, endometrium with regular cyst like seen here or seen here or homogeneous endometrium with irregular cysts like seen here like seen in the schematic diagram then heterogeneous endometrium without cyst areas or heterogeneous uh, endometrium with regular or irregular cyst so basically homogeneity of the endometrium with cyst regular irregular accordingly they are classified then comes the endometrial midline appearance it's said to be linear normally like this then it can be a non linear like seen here it can be irregular as seen here or it can be undefined you cannot define it properly next point is the endometrial junction the junction between the endometrium and myometrium madam has shown you very nicely so this can be regular as seen here this can be visible but irregular like here it can be interrupted like this or it can be not defined you cannot define where is the endometrium where is the myometrium here so accordingly they they should be mentioned and uh, scored rather then the age between the age between the uh, lesion endometrial lesion and the endometrium wall the lesion is in the endometrial cavity and the, and the endometrium lining and this age bright age whether it is there or not that should be mentioned or looked for the sixth point is the presence of fluid in the uh, endometrial cavity the fluid can be anechoic fluid can have internal echos or fluid can have some solid or a mixed type of echo texture within once we are done with the uh, b mode uh, assessment then we can go to the color doppler assessment for color doppler it, it is given in the consensus report that the prf that should be 0.3 to 0.9 kilohertz and we should use the color power doppler gain 
as low as it doesn't show any color artifacts so that means indirectly you should increase the color power gain until the artifacts appear and there are various patterns given the the endometrium may not show any color may not show any flow the endometrium can show minimal color and minimal flow and then the endometrium can have moderate flow and moderate color and there can be abundant color and abundant flow so this is the highest score given in the iata once we see the vessels how are they the pattern of vessels like here the single uh, dominant vessel entering the endometrium or the single vessel with multiple branches like seen here only one vessel entering or multiple vessels at one point at one area either anterior or posterior you see multiple vessels coming inside or there can be multiple focal uh, uh, vessels entering all around the endometrium from uh, from the endometriomyometrial junction there can be scattered vessels or there can be a circular flow all these are distinct features and should be mentioned and then they have given this chart where you can add up all these things uh, right from endometrial thickness ecogenicity and other features the endometrial thickness for premenopausal less than 12 is given 0 up to 15 is 1 up to 20 mm is 2 and up more than 20 is definitely 3 points in the postmenopausal it is 5 10 15 and 15 plus that is scored from 0 to 3 the homogeneous uh, hyperechoic homogeneous hypoechoic homoge as long as it is homogeneous it can be hyper hypo or iso it is given a zero score the three layer pattern is organ gain one zero score so that is not of much use the non uniform ecogenicity of the endometrium has a uh, score of 0 when homo it is homogeneous with regular cyst but with irregular cyst though homogeneous it is scored 1 heterogeneous ecotexture without cyst or with cyst regular cyst it is again scored 1 and heterogeneous with irregular cyst is scored 2 next features are the midline appearance all appearance like linear non linear irregular non defined they are given zero and the em junction that endometrium myometrial junction if you see it is normal regular is zero if it is irregular it is one point it is interrupted two points and if it is not defined then it is three points and the bright edge if you see it uh, nicely it is zero and if you don't see it is one the intracavity fluid again scored zero to three depending on If there is no fluid, uh, if there is uh, any quick fluid, one. If it is a ground glass or a dense uh, um, uh, fluid, it is two. And if it is mixed ecogenicity or a solid thing you are seeing, it is three. The color score again with no color, no vascularity is one. With minimal color is two. With moderate color it is three. And abundant color is given four. This is the highest uh, score given. the vascular pattern like single vessel without branching single vessel with branching scattered vessel circular vessels all are given zero point the multiple vessels from one point they are given one multiple vessel from multiple points given two score so these uh, iita guidelines have been further studied with uh, many many uh, studies this is a big multi center study of around mm, 3000 women they deal, uh, did ultrasound doppler Uh, sonom uh, histography and endometrial sampling and they found the typical uh, histological endpoints right from malignancy to leiomyopathy and they have given certain ultrasound features using this terminology like these are the reassuring fa- features uh, on ultrasound like thin endometrium three layer linear midline and single vessel if you see this you are sure that this is uh, not a malignant case certain uh, different endometrial pathologies uh, they have given features like atrophy you will get 3 to 7 mm with clear or uh, uh, with fluid with echos in the proliferative or secretive you can get thickness up to 30 mm with clear fluid in hyperplasia you will add uh, to uh, you will get some added scattered vessels within with a ground glass appearance of the uh, fluid in polyp in premenopausal you will get uh, um, uh, regular uh, regular cyst you will get in postmenopausal and premenopausal you will get only a homogeneous endometrium in leiomyomas uh, you can get a circular pattern of uh, vessel 
in our typical hyperplasia as they have given at multiple scattered vessels with more thickening of the uh, endometrium and in cancer definitely there are all features of abnormal abs present another big study they have added age of the patient body mass index and found out that they can they were able to differentiate between malignant and benign histology and even in between benign histologies other study came with tumor biomarkers they added and they found that that has increased the sensitivity and specificity of these iata guidelines so uh, we conclude with this uh, statement that this ultrasound characteristics given by iata is quite simple and with more than 6.5 score we can take it as a cut off value and that can quickly and accurately assess in between benign and malignant uh, lesions in the uterine cavity and has a high diagnostic value uh, so the tvs is again excellent tool for evaluation of endometrial lesions the standardization of ultrasound features and scoring system can help the clinician and the patients and once we start doing it and uh, systematically note the findings then we find the guidelines more and more helpful thank you so we will have some cases uh, discussion and followed by lecture on sonohistography